supply curve for cigar is typical upward sloping straight line and demand is typical downward sloping suppose equilibrium quantity is 1000 per month when there is no tax so keep plotting it this is your supply curve this is your demand curve the initial equilibrium quantity is 1000 uh then a tax of 0.50 is imposed the effective price paid by the buyer is increased from 1.50 to 1.90 so initially the equilibrium was 1.50 now buyer is paying 1.90 and seller is paying 1.40 okay and the government tax revenue is 475 which of the following statement is correct okay so the tax revenue this is 475 tax revenue is tax into quantity this is 475 tax is 0.5 so half into quantity is 475 so quantity is 475 into 2 this is the next new quantity that you will be selling so this will be 950 so the first statement is incorrect let's go to the next one the demand for cigarettes is more elastic than the supply of cigarettes remember that whichever is more elastic bears less burden of the tax but here consumers are bearing 0.40 and producers are bearing only 0.10 as compared to earlier price producer is receiving just 10 cents less so producer is more elastic consumer demand is less elastic so this is incorrect dead weight loss is 12.50 so dead weight loss is this triangle okay so it will be half into base base is 50 into height height is 0.50 right so this will be 50 into 5 by 2 by 2 so just solve this and you will get this as 25 into 25 so this is going to be 62.5 something like that so this is also not your answer now the next part is that the tax causes a decrease in consumer surplus of 380 so your initial consumer surplus was this and your new consumer surplus is area above the price below the demand for this so the change in consumer surplus is this this is the decrease in consumer surplus now this actually can be this is the area which i want to find out so this can be said as um, Oh, I'm just sorry. This is correct, right? This is just twenty five hundred by two twenty, not twenty five hundred. This is twenty five by two. This is two twelve point five only. Nobody corrected. This is twelve point five only, right? This is correct. okay so this is correct third option is correct but let me just tell you the fourth option also so here you have to find the uh, decrease in the consumer surplus right so this is this blue area is the decrease in the cons consumer surplus acha here either you use area of a parallelogram right so i have two parallel sides and this is my perpendicular 
So sum of parallel sides into perpendicular into half, that's the area of the parallelogram. Either you use that or you use the area of triangle plus the area of rectangle. That's also what you can do. So here in this case, what will you do? Area of rectangle. This will be 0 0.40 into 950. Do we agree? This is 0 0.40. This is 950. So it is 0 0.40 into 950 plus area of triangle. This triangle, it is half into base is 50 and height is 0 0.40. So when you add this together, diagram is important. That is going to give you the decrease in the consumer surplus. So this is going to be this will be 4 by 10 into 975. You can just calculate this, okay? So the point is that the decrease in consumer surplus will be given by this. Similarly, suppose the question would have asked you, what is the decrease in the producer surplus? Then it would have been this area, this. Again, if you have to find it out, it is area of triangle plus rectangle. So this is my rectangle being formulated. So base is 950, height is 0 0.10. This is the area of the rectangle and triangle will be half Base is 50 and height is 0 0.10. So this is your area of the producer surplus loss. Okay. The B part. The demand for cigarettes is more elastic than the supply of cigarettes. Okay. So whichever party has more elastic part will bear more burden. If you notice... From the tax of 0 0.50, consumer is going ahead, is, sorry, will be a less burden. Consumer is going ahead and going from 1.50 to 1.90. So here, consumer is bearing 0 0.40 cents of the tax. So this is, consumer is bearing more burden. And producer is bearing just a burden of 0 0.10. It is going from 1.5 to 1.4. So producer is bearing 1.40, less burden. So whichever party bears more burden of the tax is less elastic. Which bears more burden, less elastic, less burden, more elastic. So now just see here. It is saying that consumer is bearing more burden of the tax. So consumer demand should be less elastic. But the question is saying demand is more elastic. So this is incorrect. It will always move in the opposite. 